you know, school uniforms have always been a big part of the Singapore education system and you may have caught my previous videos on school uniforms. So yes, I've heard all your requests for a follow-up video and here it is. Alright, so real fun times at Chic Peak today. Four people, Sonia, Chloe and Velda, of course, the four Topshop girls. And today, I haven't told you, but we are going to have a little style challenge. Okay. That's the first part, and then we'll have a photo shoot. There's just one little thing. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> With me, there's always one little thing. So, we're going to style it according to a theme, and the theme is... No! Uniforms! No! no. <laughs> yes! Does this bring back memories? Me? Sure. I have the worst uniform! Convent. It's like a standard girl's uniform. The uniforms are white and blue-based. Blue is very off the season, so they have it easy. I don't know, you can turn it slutty, <laughs> or you can turn it like it girl kind of uniform. Everyone thought it was Sailor Moon uniform. We hated it. Everyone hated it. I know it gets a lot of flack for being Sailor Moon and all that, but I think that it is the most easily modified. Like you could buy a really oversized top and then make your skirt really, really short. It makes you look a little bit like you're wearing a potato sack. So I was just wondering why they can't just put a button here for the collar to close. Like it's a lot neater. Yeah, you can put anything on Velda and she still rocks it, so. I was from St. Anthony's Canosian Convent. This is the primary school uniform. I think the pinafore actually gives you quite a good shape. Light blue is totally in season now, so I'm pretty sure Sonia can find something. My main strategy is to keep the colour combination more than instead of like, okay, I have to look for a white shirt. Our school motto is Dimeo and Resolute. The person who designed it had in mind to make the uniform that would be the most unattractive to boys so that we would be very focused on our studies and I think that probably worked. Green is so hot, so good luck to Jade. Ooh, looks like a walking broccoli, I would say. But Jade doesn't look like broccoli though. She looks like a very pretty broccoli. <laughs> I would say we're closer to the colour of dustbin, but what have you done to your face lately? <laughs> So today's challenge, you have to style yourself in an outfit inspired by your old school uniform. You have 15 minutes. I was surprised. I mean, I was taken aback because I never expected that she even knew what my primary school was. I think I was kind of cursing Jade. <laughs> why Jade? Why? I don't get why. I'm sorry I made you do this. But I got the shortest end of the stick, so we're all in this together, kind of. I hope Jade has a good time finding green. Yeah, watch your back, honey. Watch your back. For today's challenge, since I'm the host, I cannot judge myself, so I brought in an expert opinion in the form of Keeper. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. What will you be looking out for later? Like the four of you girls, right, are uh, like really fashion icons. So I am actually coming here to also learn from you guys. Not only will he be judging us, Keith will also give us his expert opinions on how to make the outfit better and on, you know, some tips on how you can wear it differently. Hi, Velda. Hello. Hello. Hi. Wow. Hi. Okay. That's My right. uniform has dark blue and white. Okay. And it's also layered. It's a pinafore and then there's a blouse over it. Right. So I kept the layering and I kept mm. the colours. I see. Yeah. Okay, I like the way you you put them together. There's some inspiration from the uniform, yeah. which is your coloured shirt. Yeah. Right. And also I like it when you have this like very like interesting accessories. Mm -hmm. However, I am actually a very colourful person. Okay. You can you can judge from what I'm wearing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I would actually prefer if you have yeah. put like maybe be a, probably like a more colourful or pink, like yeah. tights okay. or something like that. Yeah. To add on the colour, which okay. is actually inspired from your accessories. Yes. Like maybe you can add on something like this. Like the wire hair there. You see, it's going to add more cuteness to your whole look. Cuteness. But on, on the whole, you okay. did a pretty good job. How would I get you? <laughs> okay, I'll give you a... A? Oh, great. Yes. Because okay. this is really safe. I think any girls could just put it off. Hi Chloe. Hello. Hello. Would you like to tell Hi. me about your look? Uh, I'm supposed to be from KC, but okay. I'm a rebel, so I don't really care. Like as long as I fit the color scheme. Okay, I kind of like it because it's like really cool and oh, simple. You. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought you know Topshop is more, about more fun and unique stuff, so I thought you could actually add a little bit more uh, interesting accessories. Like for example, socks like this. You know. Okay. okay to make it a little bit more texture, or simply just throw on like. This beautiful pack. 
like this. Okay. Yeah, Just I'm a throw basic. A I'm a yeah. basic kind of girl. Because this is really nice if you wear it this way. I would give you a. 11 out of 10. A minus. Okay, still <laughs> Not an bad, A. Right? Still <laughs> a right? All right, okay, thank you. Hi, Sonia. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. hi, hi, hi. It's a common school uniform. It was okay. blue and white. Okay. So I took a spin on it with a strapless. Bastier sort of top thing okay. with varsity-ish jacket okay. and white school shoes. Oh, but with heels that's the reason why because I'm short. White. But you have nice legs. Really? Yes. Oh, that's the first time anyone has told me that. And if you have nice legs, maybe you could have more fun with your jackets instead of what you're wearing. Okay. You could have a little bit more fun with this instead. Okay. Yeah, it's also in, in denim, but however, it has like different texture with different floral prints and checks and all that. So I think it will add a little bit more texture to your look. But if you're talking about a schoolgirl look, we also okay. think of cardigans. Mm. So I thought you could actually add on a little bit more colours. For mm. example, you can add on this pretty turquoise cardigan, which is yeah. also pretty long. So if you wear something which is long and you have like a shorts, Within, I mean, like underneath it, right? You actually make your legs look longer as well. <gasps> yes, yes. So really, you really. Need to do. Last but not the least, I thought it could be a little bit more interesting if you have changed your shoes. If you do not mind compensating for, for your height, you can actually go for this like pretty loafers, mm -hmm. which is so preppy and so schoolgirl look. Yeah. And at the same time, it has this interesting cut out design, which I thought this would look really interesting and it will add more dimensions to your look. Okay. So I would give you a. Mmm. Okay. A minus. Okay. At least there's a letter A inside, I'm fine. Yes. Okay, so mine is the TKGS uniform. Okay. Which is green. The green, yes. So, okay, I admit I cheated. I, am, I tried to put some <laughs> green elements. Okay. And I just tried to keep it like quite collegiate in general. Right. Yeah, even though it's not the closest to the TKGS uniform, which is very tough. You could actually uh, replace the checkered shirt with a pants instead. Yes, actually. Actually, I like this look. Yeah, it's sort of like, it looks really well put together. Yeah. Right. Oh, if this were green, yeah, confirm you'll be I would have taken this. Yeah. Perfect, you'll win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But, but for everyday life, I agree. Actually, this is a really nice look. Yes, this is yeah. nice and you can actually go with whatever you're wearing now. Yeah. And also, okay, I thought it would be nice if you were to put on this bag instead of your necklace. Oh, for much. a more casual look. Okay, so basically, if your bag is kind of like a statement bag, then you yes. can get away with wearing Right. You space. should be more focused. There shouldn't be more, like, more than two statement items on an outfit. Personally, I really prefer girls to be a little bit more, a little bit more experimental in terms of uh, textures, colors, and prints. So I thought I would give you a a, a star. What? Eight plus plus plus. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Keith, for your Welcome, expert Jay. opinion. So the second part mm -hmm. of today's challenge, don't look like that. The second part? Oh my That's god. the second part. Remember I said there was a photo shoot? Okay. With a slight twist. No. Okay. <laughs> so in school, we always had school cheers. So we're going to have a cheerleader inspired photo shoot. Okay. We have SMU flare cheerleaders who will demonstrate the move that you will be doing during and the photo shoot. Yes, okay. we'll all be doing it. Well, Exciting! Be, like, hot guys though, like they're hot guys, they are hot guys. Okay, oh, it's so easy, let's go! <laughs> Hello, the SMU hey. Flash here leaders. So Hazel, so what are we gonna do today? Today, you are going to fly. Fly? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you will jump up onto our guys' heads. Okay. okay. And then slowly, they're gonna pump you up and lift you to, this is called an elevator. So it's an elevator level. An elevator level. Uh, <laughs> but okay, let's, let's go, let's just go for it. Oh my god! 
you've heard from the style experts, but it's now time for you to decide. Show your support for your favourite look and remember, if you vote, you have a chance to win good stuff as well. So remember to vote and I'll see you next time.